the city. It's riddled with crime. Well, I mean, according to the national average, it's actually relatively low, but every city needs a hero. And that is where I come in. Hey, you! Knock it off! Yo, Soxus, wake up! I'm building a monster bike. I need to borrow your tires. Oh, yeah, sure, they're in the- Oh, no, I already got them, thanks. So the other day, I was just scrolling through my phone and I came across this picture of a really cool custom chopper and I was like, whoa, that's really cool. I want that. But the problem is, I'm not an engineer. I'm not a mechanic. I'm just some dude who has no idea what he's doing. Now, I might not have the skills or materials to build this type of chopper, but that's never stopped me before. I've got two tires, a bunch of garbage, and a burning desire to build a sick monster bike. And that should be all I need. Okay, so the first First thing I gotta do is figure out a way to make these tires move. But I don't have any wheels or rims for these. So this is gonna be pretty tough. So I stood in my brainstorming position. Yo, I think I got it. Remember when we built the mono wheel? Right. I used an electric skateboard to power the mono wheel that I built and it worked great. And I also happen to know where I could find an electric skateboard. Now it's not much, but it's better than nothing. And if an electric skateboard can move this giant tire, I should be able to get it to move this smaller one too. But I've got one problem. My skateboard is a little too big for the tire. So my plan here was to just cut a bunch of stuff off the board until it was small enough to fit in the tire. Okay, so I've made the board a lot smaller by cutting this notch in it, which lets this other piece kind of lock in just like that. Okay, so it's a bit of a puzzle getting them in here because I got to put them in separately so the wheels don't lock up, but there we go. Okay, the board is in the tire. We are all secure. This is the moment of truth. Let's see what happens. Oh! oh, yes, let's go. Okay, okay, let's see how the brakes work and stop, stop, stop. Let's go, that's, that's so sick. Okay, so this thing is really cool, but before we celebrate too much, there's one thing I gotta figure out first. Now the tire's moving great by itself, but when I put pressure on the board, it flattens out the tire a bit and adds all sorts of tension. So I have no idea if this is gonna work when I put all my weight on it. So I gotta build a quick temporary front end so I can test this tire out. Sure. Okay, so this does not have to be perfect because we're just trying something out here. Yeah, so the whole idea here is to just put some temporary front end on this to see if this idea will even work at all. Okay, let me just put a little bit of weight on here and see. That's actually not that bad. Okay, but now it's time for the true test. Will this be able to support my body weight and move me across the floor? <laughs> no way! No way! No way! What? what? Okay, so this doesn't move super fast, and that's not gonna fly. It's gotta go super fast. So I think the move is to put another electric skateboard in this tire, too. And I just so happen to have another electric skateboard in my gr- Okay, that was weird. Uh, yeah, I have another electric skateboard, and it, of course, does not fit. And I can't even cut this one in half because it's got electronic pieces on both sides of the board, so... I'm never gonna be able to finish my monster bike! The hole is lost! This is such a... Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure my roommate has an electric skateboard that he'd be willing to trade me. <sighs> Let me guess. You're here for this? Yeah, how you doing that? It's magic, baby! Okay, well, you wanna trade? Sure. Ugh, this sport sucks. <sighs> What's going on, buddy? I keep seeing him every night in my dreams. You're seeing whom in your dreams? Red dude. What do you think it means? I don't know. I just, I just know he's up to something. Oh. 
All right, back to work here. Man, I really hope that this monster bike situation works out for me because I've had to destroy two perfectly good electric skateboards now. Okay, my second board is cut and ready to go. Now I just got to install it into this tire. Okay, our second wheel is done. Now we got to test it out. <laughs> All right. Okay, so our second wheel works. Now I'm gonna swap it out with this one to make sure it works under pressure. So I quickly swapped the tires over and it worked great. Honestly, especially with me on it. <laughs> okay, so this board goes a little faster than the other board. I'm not sure why, they're literally the same board. But obviously it's still not fast enough. So we gotta put the two wheels together. Yeah, so uh, real quick, um, one, you should totally subscribe to the channel. And two, you see that cool shirt I'm wearing right there? You can also have that shirt and plenty of other shirts too by going to shop.jakecarlini.com and buying a shirt. Okay, first of all, this thing looks nuts. I'm definitely gonna have to build something like this in the future. But for now, it's time to try the speed. Now, obviously two wheels were faster than one, but there was a little problem. Okay, now because all the weight is in the middle, you can see these things start to pinch in on me, but that shouldn't be a problem once I have the wheels lined up like this. Cause once I have it set up like a bike, all the weight should be balanced right in the center. But the problem I'm facing now is I can't test the speed of these things cause the tires aren't moving straight and there's not really enough room in the garage for a proper speed test so I'm gonna go ahead and line these tires up so I can get a true reading on this speed Let's go! Okay, sitting in the front is putting like a weird pressure on the back tire, so I don't think I'm getting the amount of speed I could, but I think if I position myself between the two tires like I will once the bike is done, it'll probably give me a better result. So let me try that. Oh yeah, dude, this is so much better, so much faster. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and move the wheel over and put like a seat in the middle for now, just so I can test the speed. Okay, yeah, so this, um, it, it wasn't very fast, like, at all. One cool thing is that this is the first time any of my builds have been able to successfully go in reverse, so that's cool. Okay, so I've made a few interesting discoveries. The first one being that this goes way faster in reverse for some reason. So I think when I get to the next phase of the build, I'm gonna turn these electric skateboards around so that way they're in reverse. And then I've gotta build a proper bike frame with a seat and handlebars and all that stuff. Thanks for meeting me here. I asked you to meet me. Well, do you have it? Do I have it? It's a body hijacker. You point that device at anyone and you can control their every move. Don't use it on me! <laughs> well, what's our mission? Here. This goofball goes by the name of Soxus. He's the one who's been spoiling all our plans. He lives with Purple Dude and this Jake Carlini guy. I guess he's like a garbage man or something. When do we strike? Tomorrow, midday. No, I, I can't do tomorrow midday. I've got a potluck with my book club. It's been scheduled for weeks. I, all, right, I well, all right, how about Friday? Midday. Uh, can move some stuff around. Yeah, I can probably make that work. Cool. Okay, so it was back to the lab. I had to fix this speed situation because this thing was a little too slow. So I was thinking what I should do is just get a third electric skateboard to put in the back tire. Okay, so I gotta take this whole thing apart, turn the wheels around, and then start building a bike frame. Now I'm kinda nervous because I've never built a bike frame before, and this one doesn't count because it's got training. It's got training wheels and a chair. Bikes don't have chairs. Yeah, they got seats. And you know, I know that I just said that I've never built a bike frame before, but I just remember that I actually have built a bike frame before when I built this motorcycle out of trash. But this is a totally different animal. This is a monster bike. It's gonna be huge. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do it because I don't know how I'm gonna do it.
Okay, so this old bed frame is probably gonna work great. Now, every time I build something, I do something different that I've never done before, and this here w was definitely it. I've never done anything like this. Okay, so this is a pretty cool start. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but I guess we're gonna find out. And find out we shall. And find out we shall! Sorry, did a little battle cry situation there. Uh, it was a bit anticlimactic. Uh, but yeah. All right, we've got some pretty cool forks for the front wheel. Now we gotta do all that again for the back wheel. Now with the amount of metal work I do on this channel, you're probably wondering why I don't have a welder. Well, fun fact, I uh, almost died welding once when I was in high school. Um, but that's probably a story for another time, but yeah. You know, it just kind of dawned on me that it's a little ironic that this is a bed frame and now the bed frame is a bike frame. But um, yeah, anyway, so I, I should really consider facing my fear and, and just getting a welder anyway, because look, look at this, look at, the, look at the amount of drilling through metal I'm doing. All right, so this is coming along pretty good. It's pretty cool. What do you guys think? It's getting there. Yeah, I mean, it's really cool. It just needs a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely needs a seat. And foot pegs. And handlebars. Yeah, and I'm still waiting on an electric skateboard for the back tire. All right, well, while we wait for that, let's put some handlebars on there. Yeah, okay, yeah, I should have a pair of handlebars around here somewhere. But of course, when I went to go looking for them, I couldn't find them anywhere. Yo, have you guys seen my handlebars anywhere? No. Yeah, I was using them. Sick, where'd you put them? Uh, can, can you stop? I'm trying. Bro, knock it off. Tell him where the stuff is. I'm not doing this. Bro, what's he doing? I don't know. Hey, knock it off. Uh, who are you? Are you serious? I'm yellow dude. Yeah, and I'm red dude. Yeah, we know who you are. Yeah, and I know who you are, and you're, and you, you smell bad. Why don't you say that to my face? What? I can't hear him. I can't saying. hear him. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna fight you now. <sighs> Now's my chance. Get up! Get up! Oh no, 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 no! I'm so sorry! No, it's okay, I totally understand! No! You okay? Real nice guys. You started it. Yeah, well, we're gonna end it. Why were they so mean to me? All right, buddy, let's get you inside. Let's get you cleaned up, come on. <laughs> oh, oh it... All right, everybody's gone, cool. Let's try this again. Where are my handlebars? They're in the freezer. I put all your things in the freezer. Thank you. While I waited for the handlebars to warm up, I took some time to build a bracket mounting system for the handlebars so I could stick them to the bike. All right, we got handlebars. Now we need a spot to put my feet. And I think I got just the thing. 
there I go, drilling through metal again. You know, I, I just need to get a welder. I just gotta do it. All right, we've got handlebars, we've got foot pegs. It's time for a seat. And I just so happened to have a perfect seat, but it was very far away. And there I was, in the final hours of my monster bike build, wearing a super cool shirt from shop.jcarlini.com, and I was ready. I was ready for this build to be complete. The only thing I was waiting on now was my electric skateboard. So this was it. This was the final missing piece of the whole build in my monster bike was complete. I get the point. Yeah. I get the point. You ain't sucking cause you're- Oh yeah, so I, yeah, I forgot to mention that final skateboard there turned out to be a total dud and it didn't even work at all. So I had to take it off and just roll with the two skateboards. So yeah. It wasn't as fast as I wanted it to be, but it was still super safe. It was hard to balance. It was, it, well, it couldn't steer at all. But the point is, I got out there, I had fun, and I did something creative. And to me, that's the only thing that matters. Well, I'm tempted to slow down. It's okay, it's okay. Boss, look what they did. We gotta make them pay. Oh, they will pay. A lot. <laughs>